Southeast Missouri State head coach Tom Atukowitz, the Red Hawks coming off a 30-14 win at Austin P. Um, now 2-1 and one, the OVC, the first OVC team with two conference victories. Uh, they're going to host uh, Murray State. That's Saturday afternoon uh, at Hauk Field. So, Coach, uh, thoughts on your team, and then we'll go into uh, any questions. Yeah, just super proud. Um, you know, I think uh, just like any person or any team, you know, you're really defined by when you hit adversity. Um, you know, we played well against Tennessee State and then um, got beat by uh, Tennessee Tech and we're kind of reeling and uh, trying to find out ourselves and just who we are as a person and as a team. And so loved, loved, loved how we chose to respond against Austin P. Um, and so I felt like it was kind of a tipping point with a lot of things, but they found a way. It's probably our best sideline from an energy standpoint, and it was sustained throughout the the whole game. Um, and of course, Austin P's got a good program, and um, you know, it's to, to be able to win that on the roads uh, says a lot about uh, our team. And uh, now we're turning our sights to our rival with uh, Murray, and we certainly have. Um, respect for them and their program and uh we're working hard to make sure we're ready perfect coach if anybody has a question for coach took if you let me know down in the chat i will just uh call on you in the order um that i see them so first question coach in that win such a good start you get off to uh to an early lead and then in the third quarter you're able to extend that lead so uh, what were the keys early on in, in for your team to play well against austin p well, we got 16 points off turnovers, <clears throat> and so uh, that's the biggest thing. Um, you know, we were able to create some takeaways and capitalize on that. That's something we didn't do against Tech. Um, you know, we turned them over in the first half, we weren't able to get any points on that. So I think that was the big difference. Uh, Chandler, uh, he has a question. Go ahead, Chandler. Yeah, Coach Toot, this is Chandler Collins from uh, CMRRedHawks.com. Um, Alluded to the turnovers uh, just a second ago, he forced five. I noticed you guys were playing a little bit more uh, defensive backs on the field, um, specifically William McCall, who hadn't played uh, all year. Um, I just wanted to, I wanted your thoughts on uh, your strategy to play more defensive backs against uh, Austin P and uh, McCall's progress um, as he's, you know, coming to his own, earning that starting spot. Yeah, I'm glad you asked that. Um, you know, Will was a, a kid we brought in late, and so we've been coaching him, and he's had some injuries, and we've kind of been banged up in the secondary. You know, our ideal situation is to play nickel versus teams like that, play at 11. You, you know, when they have skill on the field, you want to have skill, but we've kind of been hamstr hamstring there a little bit, and so he gave us that um, – that, that much needed uh, schematic uh, to be able to run some of those nickel schemes in there and did a really good job. Had a, a PBU, tackled well. And so um, I think that was a huge plus for us and, and really helped us versus that game. And so um, hats off to him and uh, Coach Smith and the coaches for getting him ready to play. And, uh, you know, it's certainly going to uh, prove valuable uh, throughout the rest of the, the season. Uh, we'll go next to Blaine. Blaine, go ahead. Hey, Coach Toop. This is Blaine Keller with the Allstate. Um, you know, you guys have a sack in that game against Austin P. and Austin P's kind of had issues with its offensive line throughout the first couple of weeks of the season. I was kind of curious, whenever you were game planning, you and your coaches, did you pay attention to kind of the sacks that they've allowed through the first three, four games at that point? Uh, was that a point of emphasis for your defense maybe? Yeah, we, we were trying to get it behind the chain. So whether we could TFL or sack, uh, you know, that's the big thing is if you could get them in second, 13, 14, then you're going to have a way better chance to get them off the field. And so we, we were bringing a little more pressure. Um, and, you know, our, our kids did a nice job with that. Anybody else follow up questions? Just let me know, and then I'll call on you. Uh, Coach Murray State coming off a uh, a loss against UT Martin, who is uh, obviously nationally ranked. Uh, and you referenced them in, in your opening statement. They they played two quarterbacks last week. Uh, they're the number one ranked defense. Can you elaborate any more you've seen on on just Murray and and what you expect from them? Yeah, I mean we expect them to come in fired up and ready to win a game. Um, they're going to be well coached. They're going to uh, give us problems and 
I expect this to be a fourth quarter, you know, hard fought game, just like it was last year. Um, you know, when I watched uh, UT Martin uh, play, and I didn't watch their offense yet, but I've watched UT Martin's defense. I mean, they're they're probably the best in in uh, UT Martin defense since I've been here in eight years. And so, coach uh, has a has a really good football team, and it was at home, and I know it was a great environment, and he had them ready. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's going to be going to be a huge challenge. You know, and Murray played, they played a tough schedule like you all did in the non conference, and they played back to back FBS opponents. Um, uh, we've asked you about it, but obviously that helps your team get better, right? Playing the better opponents. I don't know if you've seen that uh, from their film progression on just playing top notch non conference teams. Yeah. Yeah. I think they've continued to get better and uh, throughout the season and, and kind of find their way and identity. And, uh, you know, I know they're, Say the same thing we have. You know, you got one conference loss, and you, you know you got to find a way not to have two if you're wanting to win a, a championship. Uh, final question for me, and we'll see if there's anybody else. Geno Hess continues to score touchdowns, three more touchdowns in in, in your win. I know we've talked about him before. Anything else you can add on uh, just his continued consistency and and finding the end zone? Yeah, just did a great job. You know, the one turning point in the game, they roughed our kicker, and then we ended up going for it on fourth and two, and it was early in the game. And uh, we did end up blocking a backer that shot a gap. And Gino just has a knack for the red zone. He's a big back, obviously, but also vision and, and uh, keeping his feet running with great ball security. Uh, so he's – I think he was – led the country last year in touchdowns uh, and might – might do it again this year. He just has a good knack. And so really impressed with him and, and our O-line. Uh, this week, I think it's it's going to come down to the, the lines. I think ours is solid, and I think theirs is pretty solid. So it would be interesting uh, who ends up uh, winning out because they're a run-heavy offense, and, and so are we. And so that will be, be a huge challenge. Anybody else have a uh, question for Coach Tuke? All right, Coach, thanks for your time this morning. Best of luck Saturday. We'll talk to you next week again. Thank you.